Today we're going to focus on what's the difference between the Saphir mirror gloss and the Saphir Amaro gloss. Both give you a great mirror like finish, but one might be better than the other. We're going to specifically focus today on doing a spit shine. Let's get into it. Before we get started, you're going to need a few things. Some thinner acetone, an old rag, a cleaning brush, a shine brush, a cotton chamois, some water, and a way to protect your surface. These leather shine mats are really nice. Uh, I'll make some and then have some on our website soon. If you want to know what the ingredients are, you could always look on the back, peel up this uh, little label, and it'll be in English. Now let's first take a look at the characteristics. As you can see, the mirror gloss is very, very firm. And the amber gloss is just a little bit softer. You can almost push into it. But the mirror gloss you can't. So it's got a lot harder waxes to begin with. Or more harder waxes. First let's start with stripping. We need to strip all the old waxes or anything that the factory might have put on there. Now in order to get a good shine, Saphir recommends that you add some conditioning to it, like the Renovateur. So we're going to go ahead and add some Renovateur. It's not a bad idea, we just stripped it, we took some oils and moisture out of it. Now you should really leave this on as long as you can, but to speed things up, I'm going to go ahead and just start buffing it. Now the next step Saphir recommends is to add some polish. Again we're using the Saphir Medal d'Or here going to offer the highest conditioning and most pigmentation. Now we're just going to let that sit for a few minutes and we'll be right back. Now that we waited a few minutes we could go ahead and buff. The next thing Sophia recommends you apply is the Pate Deluxe Polish, which is the basic wax polish. All right, so we waited a few minutes and now we're going to start buffing. At this point really isn't about pressure and you should really watch it, but the more pressure you put, the more wax you pull off. All right, now that we got all the base layers on, we're going to go ahead and start seeing what the difference is. Does one shine better than the other? So I have it labeled. This one is the MDO and this one is the Saphir.
So I'm just prepping my rag since it's brand new and getting some polish on there. And here's the fun part. So now we're going to melt the wax. This is dangerous so you should use caution. Make sure there's nothing flammable around. And it makes it real easy to apply it. Again this time you want to avoid the flex points. Now before this dries, I like to take my finger and at this rough area here, I like to smooth it out. Just kind of feather it. For some reason on the backs, I never do relight re it. And it's important to use the right side of the cotton chamois. One is a little bit, you'll see it's a little bit hairy or fuzzy. That's the side you don't want to use. Now immediately as I'm applying this, I could tell that the Emerald Gloss is a lot thinner than the Mirror Gloss. But let's see what happens on the first coat. Is that good or bad? Again, taking caution not to put it in the flex point. So, yep, you can feel it. The mirror gloss is a lot harder and it's already hardened. One important step in this is just we have to let this sit and let the solvents evaporate. All right, now you can see the polish is a little bit hazy. So the old school military guys, the way they taught me was to use a lighter and just uh, melt all the waxes. Now this is the part where the water comes in. If you don't have one of these nice Japanese water dispensers, you can also use a spray bottle. All right, let's take a look. Which one looks shinier? All right, so quick op observation. The ammo gloss is a little bit smoother, but the mirror gloss is filling in a lot of the grains in this leather, which means it's going to end up shining a lot faster. 
I did contact Saphir and asked them what the main difference was. And they said in the mirror gloss, there's a lot of precious waxes, hard waxes in it. So that's why it's also a lot harder than the Admiral gloss. Now, in order to get a really, really good spit shine, you really just have to build up the layers. So you really just have to build up all these micro layers. On the first one, I'd say you need about 10 coats. Then come back the next day and do another couple coats. By the following day, what happens is all the solvent actually dissolves and leaves the wax a little bit harder. I'm paying close attention to the mirror gloss because I don't want it to get too hard. I want to smooth it out before it gets too hard. Another trick you could do is just add the water to your rag. Use circular motions. Now let's take a look and see if there's any difference. You could see that the Saphir Medal d'Or is actually already on the second coat of way better shine. Alright, now we're at the three coat stage and I want to keep this video under 10 minutes or right around 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is put a layer on off camera and then take a picture, put a layer on off camera, then take a picture. Alright, see you in a bit. This is coat number four and as you can see, on the right you have the mirror gloss, on the left you have the admiral gloss. And if you really zoom in on it, you can really see the grains on the Amro gloss. And the grains. And the grains on the mirror gloss are actually a lot less, which means it's feeling more and it's a thicker layer. Alright, here's layer five. It's about the same results. Coat number seven, you can really see the grains and the Admiral Gloss. A lot smoother, let's move the light. So, we're gonna do one last one, and then I'll show you how we do this one. This is actually number 10. I have to say one thing I did notice, we went through a lot more Admiral Gloss than we did Mirror Gloss. And we did the same amount of coats.
you know the rule by now. Let's wait five minutes. Alright, this last step is like the old cotton ball trick that the military guys would use. So if you got any excess on the welt, you could go ahead and use some thinner and take that off or just pick it out. Alright, let's get a shot of the final shot. Alright, so just to recap, uh, the mirror gloss seems to be a lot better. The Amro gloss is great, but it's just a little bit lacking. It's a little bit thin for me, and we did go through a lot more. One of the tricks we do do in the shop is to use Amro gloss as the last coat in order to pop the shine. Let us know what you think, if you like both, if you just like using one, or which one you like better.